When it comes to lighting modifiers, there are a few different variations. You have umbrellas, you have octaboxes, you have deep parabolics, you have beauty dishes, you have rectangular or square soft boxes. And if you're new to off-camera flash or if you've been shooting off-camera flash for a while but you're not someone like me that has way too many modifiers that I never use, you may be wondering if the shape or the variation of the modifier plays a factor. Does it impact the light output, the quality of light, the pattern of light that's hitting your subject? Are there any ramifications of using one modifier over another? Now, because I like to get straight to the point in my videos, I'm gonna tell you the answer for the most part is no. But hang tight because you know I'm a man that shows, not just tell. So not only do I wanna give you some examples and show you so that way you can judge for yourself, but I also wanna to touch on at the end of this video, the nuances of the modifiers, because to be fair, there are times where maybe one uh, shape of modifier may work better over the other. But for the most part, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Let me get all this stuff set up. Let me show you so then that way you can be the judge. Now, while I'm getting everything set up, if you could go ahead and smash that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. And if this isn't the first time you've watched one of my videos, but you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. What are you waiting for? Hit that button, ring that bell, so that way you don't miss any of my videos. Now, when it comes to these modifiers, I tried to pick modifiers that were roughly the same size. So the Octobox and the Beauty Dish are both 25 inch. The Deep Para is 28 inch, so it's slightly bigger. The Umbrella is 42 inch. Now the rectangular soft box that I'm using, it technically is a strip box. It's a 10 by 24 inch strip box. And the reason I'm using that is because the rectangular soft box that I have is a 31 by 47 inch. So it's just sizably bigger than these other modifiers. So of course it's gonna produce a different type of light that really wouldn't have been fair in this comparison. So let's get into it. And now I have the images on the screen. So first things first, take a few moments and see if you can figure out which modifier was used in each of the images. All right, so now I'm gonna put them on the screen. So in the comments below, let me know how many of them out of the five did you get correct? Now, as you can see, for the most part, these images look very similar. Now, of course, there are some small differences amongst them, uh, specifically with the strip box. And because the strip box was only 10 inches wide, I had to move it around a little bit more in front of the subject to be able to light the face and not have this split lighting. So because I had to move it around, the shadows on the subject right side of the face are uh, more filled in. So that side of the face is brighter. But by all accords, when you look at these five images, they are very similar. So unless you were really looking for differences, you wouldn't really see the difference. So again, as I was saying earlier in the video, it honestly doesn't really matter what the shape is of the modifier. It's gonna give you about the same amount of light, provided that the light is equal distance from the subject and the modifiers are equal in size, you're basically going to get the same kind of light on your subject. So in real world situations, when it comes to which variation, what shape of a modifier, what you use, for a lot of photographers, it comes down to something really, really simple, and that's catch lights in the eyes. There are a lot of photographers that want a perfectly round catch light, so they would go for something more like a beauty dish or a deep parabolic or a parabolic in general, something that is very circular in shape as opposed to something like an Octobox, which is somewhat circular, but because it's only eight sides, it's not as smooth. So it really depends on if that's important to you. If it is, then that may dictate what variation of softbox you choose to go with. Uh, if you're using something like an umbrella, you know, umbrellas are really good. I think for most photographers, when they're just getting into off-camera flash, they start with an umbrella because they're cheap, they're easy, they're affordable. But if you wanna have, for example, a moody look and you're in a space like what I'm in right now where the ceilings are lower, the walls are close, an umbrella is not gonna be the best choice for that because umbrellas bounce light all over the place and they're gonna fill in those shadows. So you're not really gonna be able to get that moody look. So you're gonna go with a closed modifier of some sort so that way you have more control over, um, over your light. When it comes to something like 
a rectangular or a square softbox, I will use that when I want to replicate window light. And it's not because the light that's hitting the subject is gonna be different, but it comes back to catch light. I wanna be able to have a rectangular or a square catch light in the eye so that way I can sell the effect of it being window light. So when it comes to the shape of the modifier, as you've seen in the examples in this video, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Now, I'm not standing here saying that there's no differences or that if you pixel peeped or if you really look close that you wouldn't see any variation in light and shadow and that sort of thing. You will to a degree, but for most photographers and in most situations, any of these modifiers will produce similar light onto your subject and you will be able to achieve the look that you're wanting to. But if you have a nuance, if you have something specific, you want those circular catch lights, or you wanna have a moody look, or you wanna have more control over your light, then that will dictate what type of modifier you reach for to be able to achieve that look that you're going for. So hopefully this was helpful. Until the next video, take care.